Mm. Uh, well, okay. Lovely. On the mm. same token then, maybe you will give us a name here, Luis. Who was the most <laughs> underappreciated player you played with? Underappreciated. Um, mm. I don't know. I had a few that I, but I, I, I think Steve Finnan, the the, yeah. the right one for Liverpool. Uh, he was a, an outstanding player, and he always uh, went under the radar. Everybody praised him after because uh, uh, because of 2005 final. But he gave so much uh, during four five years. I think he was in Liverpool, and he was an amazing player from from the wide areas. He put a lot of good crosses, scoring goals. He was a, an amazing player for us during those three, four, four years that, that he was there. So I think Steve Finan was one of the best ones. What about you, Shaka? Uh, I'm going to go for two defenders uh, at Newcastle. Peacock. Uh, correct. Darren Peacock. Correct. Darren Peacock. Um, I think in a side of stars and in a team that wanted to attack, Darren Peacock was easily our best defender which it didn't show itself because I was a team built to attack. I mean, everybody was just was just going forward. You had two, two other centre-halves in, in Philippe Albert and Steve Howie were great passers of the ball. But Darren Peacock was just an out-and-out -out defender. And then at Portsmouth, very good friend of mine, Linvoy Primus, who seemed to have been on the transfer list every single preseason, but one of our most valuable players at the end of that season. Every single year was there incredible player and, and, and desperately undervalued by by whoever was in charge right mm. i would say it would have been my time at celtic chelsea i think was no not really my time at celtic was a guy called uh, and actually he was the number two uh he was the assistant coach for yeoman for denmark during the euros a guy called martin vikost and martin was a danish international and he was a central midfield player like myself. And it was sort of myself and Paul Lambert got all the kind of, no, we could kind of get the headlines and that and stuff, along with Henrik Larsson and all these, but Martin Vickhorst was an amazing player. He was six foot three, fast over the ground, a lovely touch, great technical ability. But never, I, I felt, wasn't underappreciated by his teammates, but I always felt the supporters underappreciated yeah. actually just how good he was. And he was really, really a terrific midfield player. He was an international, but he didn't get, I think, the the uh, at the, the uh, headlines that he should have done. Fantastic player, and he's now, as I say, he was now coaching. He's now coaching the Danish national team. Yeah, so obviously doing pretty well there. He's doing pretty well. He's, he's, I saw his hairline, and it's the same as everybody else's. As Stevie's, it's same as Stevie's. <laughs> it's heading back the way. <laughs> Stevie's hair, he'll be caught. Stevie will have to brush his backside, won't he? <laughs> That, <laughs> that was a nice question from Kelly. Frank Leboff next says, Luis, what was your go-to skill you used as a winger to beat defenders? Uh, the control. I think that it was uh, the best thing uh, because I wasn't one of those players who could do a lot of tricky things on one v ones because I wasn't very big. I wasn't the fastest one or the, 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 the most powerful one. So I used to try to, to, to arise always first to the ball and with that control, get a band, uh, advantage. So I think that I will say that controlling, I think is the, one of the most important things on football, if not the most important. And sometimes we don't give, uh, give the credit uh, at those players. So just with the control, they pass players and well, clear the, 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 the scene for, for the rest of the, of the players. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.